You can hide no longer. You now have the world looking directly at you. Hot roll, red roll. Engaged. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am Mr. Fresh. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Malvad VPN on Fedora, on, on the Fedora workstation. And um, this came about because a few days ago, a viewer reached out to me via a comment and asked me if you were able to install Malvad VPN on Fedora. And I immediately responded, yes, you can, and told him where to go to, uh, to um, find the uh, commands to do that. And I said, you know what, I might as well make a video on this because the thing is, is Fedora, it falls under the Red Hat family. And I pretty much do um, everything that I do on Linux. It, it pretty much comes from the, the Debian family, but I am a s certified Linux system and server administrator. So part of being that is, you know, you are supposed to be familiar with Red Hat as well. So I said, you know what, it's a great opportunity to, you know, just open up something with a, with a Red Hat, and uh, that's what we're doing. So... I'm over here on the homepage for Malvad, and that is at malvad.net. And since this is in English, you have the forward slash en. Now, if uh, you come over here to downloads, it will take you to this page, and it is identifying that I'm on a Linux system. So it has automatically taken me to Linux. And if I scroll down, very simple, um, you see you have the installation instructions for Ubuntu or any Debian-based system to do this from the command line. And then right underneath that, you have Fedora. You have stable and beta. Um, we're looking for the stable. And it's very simple. It's just two commands. Um, first, run this command right here. And then secondly, run this one to install the package. So the first command is to add the Malvat. Uh, excuse me, to add the Malvad repository server to DNF. Um, and I'm going to do that now. I do not think that I have copy and paste functionality set up inside of this virtual machine, so I will have to do this the uh, more old-fashioned way, I guess you could call it. And that is by actually typing in the whole command. So what I have here on the screen is I have Fedora. Um, it's just a live um, boot or live uh, version of, of Fedora workstation running inside a virtual box. I did a video on this. Check that out if you want to know how to do this. And uh, curl should be installed by default. Um, and it is. So I am going to um, and I'm not even using curl so don't know why I did that, I guess, because I was looking at the previous commands where I, I were to use curl, so that was pretty much pointless. But anyway, uh, the command I'm going to want to run is going to be sudo dnf uh, config manager and dash dash add dash repo and then the URL, which is going to be HTTPS um, repository dot malvad dot net forward slash RPM forward slash stable forward slash malvad dot uh, repo. Hit enter, and we have added the uh, Malvad repository to DNF and if you don't know DNF is basically uh, the equivalent of, of APT for a Debian based system it is the package manager that uh, is used uh, the next command will be to actually install the package and that will be sudo uh, DNF install Malvad dash VPN and as you can see it is uh, downloading uh, the package. And it is asking me if this is okay. I'm going to hit Y and uh, return. 
and it is now doing the installation. I have to say that this this is actually pretty nice how you uh, get all of this information in the um, in the output when you are doing the install, and um, which is definitely strikingly different than when I install stuff on a Debian-based system using APT. So, gotta say it actually is is really nice. And now it is asking me uh, to accept yes again, and that is apparently to import the um, signing key for Malvad. So I will do that. Very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy with the output here inside of the um, emulator and just how they, they do a really good job of just showing you every step of the way what is actually being done. Uh, it's creating the sim link um, to the for the uh, for the daemon service for Malvad. And there we go. So it has completed and it has successfully installed the VPN. Uh, so uh, I've never done this before. This is my first time doing this on on a Fedora workstation or a Red Hat distribution uh, period. So I would assume that um, we would have an icon for this now. So let me come up here and see if we do. Come down here to the show apps. And there we go, we do. Right here in the lower right, we have our icon for the Malvad VPN. So I can click on that. And I will wait for that to pop up. And click on this up here. And there we go. So at this point, obviously, I would want to log in by entering my account number. If you do not have an account number, this would be your opportunity to uh, create account, create an account. And um, I'm not going to go through that process because that is outside of the scope of this video. But um, this is this is it right here. So we have Malvad VPN installed and running on Fedora Workstation. Uh, which comes from a Red Hat uh, distribution family. So pretty cool. Never done this before. Uh, that was actually that was actually really um, neat to see how all of that works. So with that being said, I hope that you guys got something out of this video. Um, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, post a positive comment in the um, in the description or in the underneath the video and. Uh, I'm Mr. Fresh. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.